art by Sirali. I do abstract painting and uh, yeah, I'm an artist full time and also have much as well. Now, I would describe myself as a, uh, a self-driven young lady who is pretty much trying to show the world her magic, to share her magic and to also inspire, inspire her culture, I would say. So I do abstract painting and um, I have different styles. I do portraits and I do, I'll give you an example. I choose abstract painting because abstract gives me freedom. It gives me, it allows me to do what I want. So I pretty much put blue there, put yellow there and uh, it allows me to have freedom that I would say the world is not allowing me to have. <laughs> I'm currently working on, a, on the seventh piece of a series I'm working on. It's called uh, A Queen Finding Herself. So it's pretty much, it's my story, I would say, Loki, my story, because it goes from, you know, finding yourself to actually grow. And at the same time, if you look at the pieces, uh, I would say the skill is also growing, according to me. Yeah, so it's, uh, and it's also to empower women to pretty much tap into themselves and uh, show how, see how they can, you know, uh, do their show of inspiring the world. I love palette knife as well. My palette knives. I love palette knives as well and brushes. You can never miss me with this. Not even necessarily in my studio. Even when I'm going out, let's say somewhere for an art event, I'll find myself carrying a brush so that I can put it in my pocket and just feel good. And uh, yeah. brushes, paints as well. I like uh, acrylics because of their, I would say, their fast drying characteristics. I haven't tried oil. I, I mean, I did, did try, but, you know, I borrowed a friend on exhibition, so I really didn't get to. But I'm planning to try other, other forms of paint, but my heart is in acrylics, that I can tell. Um, to, to explain abstract art in, um, let me say, in a, an easy way, is uh, Pretty much art that is uh, made of uh, that it, that has different colors and different shapes. It's, it's not like realism. Yeah. Instead of having an eye in this color, you'll get it maybe purple. Things that are out of this world, I say. Yeah. So that's abstract art. I would pretty much say art is where I take my pain. You know, this is life. We have pain sometimes. We are happy all over the place. So this is where I take my pain, my joy, my anger, my happiness. And I will allow myself to feel all the emotions I'm going through. So if it's not a good day and I'm feeling but I allow myself to feel whatever it is that is going on. So I'll go to the painting quietly and that is how I'll spend my day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it takes, I would say, time, uh, a stable mindset and, uh, and self-belief. <laughs> I would say pretty much for me to have a complete artwork, I would first need to get my mind into, I'd first need to stabilize my mind and then ensure I'm in good, good state, get my paints, ensure my brushes are clean and uh, get my paints, prime my canvas and uh, get into the zone and get lost in there. Uh, I would say what inspires my art is uh, nature nature in its many many forms and uh, sometimes I might be walking I get to see something or I get to see somebody you know maybe looking really beautiful and I'll be like okay I can do this but I can create it in my own way I would make it original I would say in my own way and uh, sometimes I'll see a picture maybe on, on socials a picture from photographers and I'll see something I really like maybe the colors the theme used there and I'll try to take that somewhere else on my creation yeah, pretty much nature and everything we see in our daily life. I would say I've been an artist for a very long time, but I had hidden it from the world, I would say, for so many years. Because I started uh, being interested about art, drawing, when I was in nine, when I was in class four, I would 
you know, sometimes I'll zone out in class and start drawing and everything. And then um, after finishing college and finding myself in the co cooperative world, and uh, it was not feeling right, definitely. It was not feeling peaceful, it was not feeling right at all. And I was asking myself, I used to know there's something else I could be doing, there's something else, I need to be somewhere else. So last year, uh, 2019, June, June, late June, uh, I was still in employment, but I was feeling so not peaceful. So I decided, I reminded myself, you know, we've tried business, it didn't go right. I reminded myself, I have a talent that I've been sitting on for a very, very long time. Because I would say I was listening to fear. <laughs> yeah, so I decided, let me, let me, you know, let me get canvas, let me get paint, and let me see how, what I can do. Because at that time, I really needed something to get me out of employment. I didn't want to really be, be, be there, you get. So I tried my first piece, and then uh, I tried the second one the following day. And then the third day, I did a piece. I decided, the third day, I decided, I decided to try abstract now, because I had tried landscapes. And uh, this was my third piece. It was abstract and this is like my best, one of my best art tracks still there. I really love it. And uh, what I would say, my first client was actually Governor, Governor Joho. Yeah? I mean, I feel like I connected myself. You know, I was on Instagram and I was like, I really needed to, I really needed to get my, my work out there. And I was asking myself, what do I do? And I, I told myself, no, you can use what you have. And I was like, okay, I have Instagram. I'll just try and DM him. Maybe one day he'll see. And yeah, he actually did see one day. <laughs> She's good, eh? She's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I literally did carry over three pieces. I didn't carry one. And um, that was pretty much what he did to me. I'm so grateful to him because what he did to me is like he opened an entire world to me, open that window that I wanted and uh, it's like he did that. <laughs> Technology has helped me to learn. You know, people ask me, so did you study art? And I told them, actually I went to University of YouTube because, you know, that's why I first, I first started seeing somebody create abstract and I was like, actually his name is Suraj, he's a well-known Indian artist. So I started, I started getting interested. So technology, showed me you know something i can achieve that i didn't know i could so i got to see something that i really liked and, and i tried it on my own and then i started using technology again to share it and uh, ever since i said okay i will use technology more I even opened a, a match it's called positive corner if you go to my my socials you actually see my match i have t-shirts there hoodies sweatpants and sweatshirts and we do customize as well because we allow everybody to be creative in their own way yeah so you can have a look at that as well and then uh, the, other, the other way is uh, technology has really been there during lockdown. You see, we had a couple of ex exhibitions lined up. The, the year just started and we were excited creating and everything. And then when the sky fell, uh, we were like, okay, kill So uh, technology was there for me because I started doing uh, uh, online exhibition. I actually had my first online exhibition. Uh, when I was introducing the series, I was talking about a queen finding herself. So you can find this online exhibition both on YouTube, at Baisirali, Facebook, Instagram, even in, on Twitter as well. And advise anyone, you know, if you can access internet and you can create something, you can pretty much see what you can do, you can match them together, you can marry them together. aspiring artists I would say self-belief is important keep pushing yourself try new things as well and ensure your peace every piece you do is better than the last yeah that's actually one of the best one of the best uh, advice I got from Mr. Patrick okay guys uh, this is the seventh piece of the series uh, a queen finding herself and uh, I'll let you see more when I'm done you'll get to see that here and uh, Follow me on my socials and uh, support, support me, support, support local art. Uh, follow me on Instagram, art by Sirali. That's how Sirali is spelled. Follow me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, any socials, YouTube. And uh, yes, you'll also get to see about Positive Corner where I sell my merchandise and uh, you see how you can support as well. And yeah.